What's going on, y'all? Johnny Wheeler reacts. I'm Johnny Wheeler. Welcome back. Today we have how's Norway's prisons and are different from America's. This comes to y'all from um, of Sindri uh, again, buddy. I'm sorry if I've butchered that name. I do apologize, uh, or if it's just a screen handler, or whatever. I'm still sorry I butchered it. Anyway. Uh, this is the one that I was talking about in the last video about uh, Norwegian prisons. Uh, I saw this one. I don't know if this is the right one. If it's not, I apologize uh, if you had another one in mind. Um, this 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 one, How's It From America? Is that interested me? So I thought I'd check it out with you guys. Um, part 4 of, you know, How America Messed You Up. Still coming. Don't worry. Um, I've got, I'm telling y'all, I'm busy, so it happens, man, but y'all have been patient, y'all have been kind, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. So without any further ado, let's get into this. The maximum security prison is not a normal life, but that's also an ambition, to reduce the feeling of being in a prison as much as possible. And in here, you have, uh, myself, so I have, uh, DVD and, uh, movies from there. The basic question we ask ourselves in Norway, what kind of neighbor do we really want? Uh, because they could move into my neighborhood and they could move into your neighborhood. So uh, I think this is an important question to ask ourselves, really. That should have an influence on how we work inside prisons. Yeah, it's... Our system is ridiculous. What? For the person to judge or to punish, we have to interact and be you. So I, I think it's mm. as simple as that. Wow. The most important thing is how we treat people. This is the four key elements that I would like you to remember. The principle of normality, the focus that we have in Norway on humanity inside prisons, what we call dynamic security, and the emphasis that we put on reintegration into society. Mm -hmm. I would say the main goal of the trip is for inspiration to go bold back in the United States. Right, real quick. Um, yeah, ours, in case y'all didn't hear me over the audio, which I apologize. Uh, ours, yeah, our prison system is, is bad. A lot of them are overcrowded. Uh, you know, and... The common misconception is they're all like murderers and rapists and all those kinds of things, and some of them are. But uh, you know, it's, it's and uh, some of them are just people that had bad situations. They're genuinely good people, you know. And uh, I learned that when I was with a group. Uh, taking a tour of one of our uh, prisons a while back, a few years back, and I and we were, you know, expecting to see like a scared straight scenario, if you will, and it was just, but it was very, very different. There wasn't any harshness that we saw. Um, it was just uh, they were very treated very well, uh, but not not like this. I mean, goodness. <laughs> it's, I mean, that's, that's wild. Let's talk a little bit more about Holden now. <laughs> How do we work and what are the unique, unique things about us? <sighs> oh. In here, you have a uh, myself. So I have uh, DVD and uh, movies from there. Here we have a real toilet with a shower and everything. You know, you can see everybody has their key, uh, so they can open uh, both the, the doors whenever they want. Even though it's nicer, it's still a summer camp. I would like you to, you know, look be beyond the facilities. Mm -hmm. It's 
not the most important thing. Yeah. I know what I, I said about, you know, not like this. I mean, I'm sure it's not, they're not like, oh, you know, enjoy your stay. Like, they make it look like a prison, but on the inside, it's like a hotel. I'm, 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 I'm sure it's not like that at all. This is the cell, every cell is similar. And uh, here we have the kitchen, where I uh, used to prepare the food. You see here, you see here. That's a really important principle in Norway, which talks about that taking someone's liberty away and taking them away from their family, away from their community, that in of itself is the punishment. So life mm. inside prisons should look as normal to life in the community as possible. And in here, you have this uh, washing room. You can uh, wash your clothes and, uh, right? Staying in the maximum security of prison is not a normal life. And I notice you're wearing just you're just wearing normal clothes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's allowed. Um, you can wear whatever you want. Um. But that's also an ambition to reduce the feeling of being in a prison as much as possible. That's no normality principle. How you can normalize the correctional setting for individuals to transition out? Bigger challenge in our system. Um, but definitely something to think about. The commissary, the stores, where an individual actually gets to go to a real store and pick out commissary items. I think that's a, a good <coughs> add, adds to the normalization. We think this is the most important part. Dynamic security sounds like a very fancy thing, but it's really just having a normal interpersonal relations between the officers or all staff really, and the inmates. Every inmate has a primary contact officer, and every officer had to have two or three inmates at least that, you know, the contact officer for. That was the ambition, from guard to also be a social worker. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Uh, one thing I want to know, and I, and again, I'm I'm, not, I'm an American on the outside looking in. Uh, obviously, this is a maximum security prison, and obviously, I'm assuming in Norway the uh, the how can I put this? The weapon, the handgun, that's totally different. Y'all probably don't even have them like the UK, you know, doesn't have them. I'm assuming, or at least not as bad, uh, not like not like it is around here where they're everywhere. Um, <laughs> um, so, you know, I guess what I'm trying to ask is like, if if that's not as if the gun crimes are not as prevalent, is I mean, is that what it normally is? Like, what's the main Cause that's a maximum security. They usually save that for like the murders and rapists, like I said before, like here, you know. But it's like, but even when you don't do something all that bad and, you, and you're still in general population, you're still kind of mixed in with that group of people, making it very hard. And it is very cruel. And it ours, I feel like, needs to be re examined somewhat like this. I can see where a lot of people would be sort of angered by you know that looks some people that would n know any better would be like well this looks like a hotel this is like a suite you know for somebody that committed murder well it may not be murder because y'all don't have the weapons crimes like we do and the you know and all those things uh i don't know that's you know just me asking but uh yeah Wow. At the academy. It's the academy. so different. Communication technique, terminology, law, human rights. Of course, they do learn self defense. They do learn extraction techniques. They do learn to work as a team. But that's not, you know, that's not the major components. It's about how do you treat people. Mm hmm. Respectfully. <laughs> My family always think that I just play games because that's why I like very much to play games. So uh, I often play um, 
play cards and stuff with like, you know, within this? I know in some states it's you know forbidden and will have consequences for you if you interact with inmates as a staff member. Quite the opposite here. We expect uh, and demand an interaction between staff and inmates. It's kind of friendship with someone. Wow. Um, and to see the progress and see the changes. <coughs> yeah. In context of the service, for example, sitting down with you and making you a future plan. So, what for um, steps by steps to become a free man? From, from day one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the officers need to know everything about the system and give advice to the, uh, to the inmates about you know, the future, what steps should they take. I've been here oh. for uh, one and a half year, but I was transferred from a prison in Brazil. You can compare that to come from hell to heaven. <laughs> it's, it's a big difference. The guards, first of all, uh, in Brazil, the guards are... Uh, the more you feel bad and weakness, the more they feel good. Here you have the guards, you know, they like a power very trip. Kind to me when I came, they are still very kind. Um, to speak, you know, to treat me as a human being. Um, in Brazil, you get treated like an animal. I've been working here since uh, the opening in uh, 2010. And I've been working in other prisons before that also. It's not for, for the person to, to judge or to punish. Because the police catch the guy, goes to the court, and, uh, and it gets sentenced perhaps. And then comes to the prison with that. You have to interact and be you. Mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, I think it's as simple as that. It really is because we can, uh, we can uh, create uh, walls between us, but that doesn't help anything. We have to communicate, we have to interact. Without approaching people with respect and dignity, it's impossible to sit down the next day and talk about his future, because mm -hmm. they do not have any trust in you. So uh, in order to you know, work well with reintegration and future planning, etc., there has to be you know, a foundation there of trust between the staff and the inmates. I've visited a lot of prisons in the United States as well, and somehow I don't have the same kind of feeling of, you know, relief of getting out of an impressive environment that, I, that I've experienced coming out of those prisons. I think that says something about how different the environment is here. I think uh, I have big opportunities uh, here to, to prepare myself for, for the life uh, after uh, prison. So there, there is still hope, there is still opportunities to get a good life after the mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do Wow. That is wild. Um, you know, that makes me think of uh, how our system, like, again, how our system is. And what he said about, you know, or what the woman said earlier about, uh, you know, you're already taken away from your family, your that and all the and all those other things. That's punishment enough. Yeah, that I couldn't agree more with that, especially for some of them that they're not particularly violent. They're just in bad situations, like, not like a violent crime, you know, like murdering somebody or whatever. It's just, it, you know, things like that. It's like, the punishment fitting the crime. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. And it's like, and then, but ours is more of the mindset of scaring you to the point where we're stripping you of your, your humanity and, like, you know your your individuality and all these things, and to scare you into once once we let you out, if you're let out, depending on 
obviously what you did, um, that you don't do that again. And for some people, it can really mess them up. And uh, I, I knew someone who is no longer with us. It He wasn't in for anything too bad, but it... It just, that environment, it just messed him up, you know, and it just, he, he wasn't the same, and he, unfortunately, he, uh, he took his own life, but, um, yeah, but uh, it, it makes me, this makes me wonder, like, could something, a similar program, you know, sort of transfer over here, be adapted over here, yeah. And then, would it work? Does, I need to know if something like this does exist, or if, you know, it just doesn't happen. But, uh, that was a good one. Thanks for that one. Thanks for that one, guy. I really do appreciate it. Post the comments down below, let me know what y'all thought. Uh, hit the like button, please subscribe. Hit that bell icon so that you know when I drop one. I tend to do them whenever I can. Or whenever the opportunity arises, you know, life also happens, you know, and I'm not able to sometimes stick to a schedule. So, uh, but I'll, I'll try at some point to get back on one eventually. But, uh, yeah, that was a great one. Keep the comments coming. Keep the suggestions coming in the comments or at jwreactions at gmail.com if you just want to keep it out of the comments, what have you. Or if you really want me to react to something Sometimes in the comments it gets bumped down and I don't see it. I've tried looking for some and some of them just, for whatever reason, disappear. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to find a better uh, system for getting the suggestions in and keeping them sorted. But uh, that'll come in due time, I'm sure. But that was pretty good. And that'll do it for this one. And until the next one, y'all, this is Johnny Wheeler, and I'm out.